Hello boys and girls, my name is Danny Mac, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make corrective shape keys in Blender 2.8. Now, when you create a deformation in Blender and it doesn't look quite right, sometimes the simplest thing to do is fix it with a corrective shape key. Let's say we rotate this arm and we aren't happy with the shape it's created. The elbow is too soft and we're not getting a nice crease on the inside of the arm. What we can do is select the mesh and come to the object data tab and here I'll add a shape key and I'll just create another. The first shape tells Blender that this is the base shape or the original shape and key 1 will be a new shape relative to this base shape so let's create that now. If we try to sculpt right now, nothing will happen and that's because we need to first turn the value of our shape key all the way up. Now we can set about fixing our shape key. By the way, we don't have to use the sculpting tools, we can use our standard modelling tools. Just make sure that your armature modifier has edit mode and cage turned on. Once we finish making the shape, we can check the difference. Much nicer. Now what we want to do is set up a driver so that when this arm rotates, this shape key automatically turns on and off as required. Right click the value and select add driver. Now open up a new window and change the window type to drivers. I'll select our shape key in here and press N to bring up the properties and we want to be in the drivers tab. Now let's set this variable. Select the armature. Then I'll just check the name of the bone that's been rotated so that I can make it the driver. I'll also make a mental note of the axis being rotated. So I'll add the bone in here, the rotation axis in here, and I'll change the space to local space. I'll also make sure that this expression just has the name of our variable. Yours might have plus one or something, so just check. I'm also just going to animate the rotation of this arm so we can better see what's going on. Right now, as we rotate the arm, the shape key does turn on, but it reaches one too early. We can actually edit this quite easily by editing the position of our driver keyframes. The first keyframe at zero obviously represents the shape key when it's switched off, so let's select the other keyframe. If I come into the F curve tab, you'll see that at frame one, we reach a value of one. If we turn the frame up, the shape key takes longer to turn on, and if we turn it down, the shape key comes on quicker. Conveniently, this red dot represents where the arm is rotated right now, so what I'm going to do is, in the View tab, holding Shift for Precision Mode, I'll position the cursor X so that it sits on top of the red dot. Then I can snap the keyframe into position by selecting it and pressing two keys on cursor X. The shape key now takes longer to turn on, but it's also starting a bit early too. To make it start turning on a bit later, we can select the first keyframe and just increase the frame value. You can also adjust these bezier handles to finer tune the rate at which the shape key is applied. And there we go, Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with someone that would agree. And consider subscribing and supporting me on Gumroad. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.